So Ranked is finally out and still be online. And you know what that means. Someone's going to try to cheat. So let's dig into it. Matches in ranked mode are played in a best of three format, which brings with it a certain set of challenges. Uh, we're going to focus on just one of those today, which is what to do with an incomplete set of match reports that are reported up to the Slippy matchmaking servers. So our overall scenario looks something like this. Um, up here, we have the Slippy servers up here on the internet. Uh, this craggy looking thing is the internet, obviously. Anyway, uh, player A and player B both connect to each other and then also at the end of a match to the Slippy servers. So what happens when we have a scenario that looks something like this? Match one finishes with player B winning. Match uh, A finishes with player A winning. And then uh, uh, in, play, in match three, there's a disconnection. So player A loses their internet connectivity and isn't able to report the progress of match number three. So player B reports that there was a disconnection to the Slippy servers, and then there is a missing third report from player A. Now the Slippy servers will wait a certain amount of time to try to wait for this missing uh, report to come in. But the question becomes, what do we do with these missing incomplete reports? So the Slippy team is well aware of this problem before ranked released, obviously, but disconnections can happen for a variety of reasons, many of them benign or perfectly ordinary. Your internet might just go out, the whole power might go out. So we wanted to gather some statistics on exactly how this occurs in the wild before making any uh, lot of policies around what to do about it. So let's look at some of those results and see what they look like. So let's take a look at some of these incomplete match reports. Every single time one of these happens, the server logs it and who is involved. So uh, each one of the rows that you're seeing right here is an individual player and then the amount of times that they were in a game that had an abandonment basically. And so uh, what we see here is basically what we did expect. Um, there's a steady hum of players at one maybe two uh, disconnections in a game. And then suddenly at the top of this list, it's super top heavy with one player at 186 games that were abandoned. Now, isn't that curious? Meet Billy, AKA Billy the Cheat. So Billy noticed that um, after disconnecting from games that they were losing, literally just yanking out the ethernet cable, um, that their matches weren't being reported as losses, even though they left and were losing the game. Um, little did they know, we were actually tracking this whole thing and we're just waiting to apply losses and maybe even bans for players that were uh, trying to abuse the system. So you can see that um, Billy had 25 total sets played to completion. Of course, Billy's actual record is 23 and 188. So that says something. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, maybe Billy's just got a really bad internet connection. Just shucks, keeps dropping out of games, but wants to keep playing anyway. Well, let's take a look at the data a little bit further, because we can also look in to see whether the player was ahead or behind in the games that disconnected. So were they um, winning a game and then left, or were they losing the game and left? Because if they happen basically at random, we should expect the players to be leaving a game or abandoning it while ahead some of the time, and uh, some of the time abandoning it while even or behind. So what you're seeing here is that same data from before, but this time overlaid onto it are whether the player was ahead or behind in each of the games that they were involved in. So if uh, we see here um, each of the players that had only one abandonment over this time period, this is about um, a day and a half worth of games, by the way. Um, the uh, players with only one abandonment more or less happened at random. Sometimes they were ahead, sometimes they were even, and sometimes they were behind. This is what we should expect to see from somebody who has maybe spotty internet connectivity or uh, somebody who played against somebody who had spotty internet connectivity. In any case, if we scroll up here to the top, we see that our top four offenders in terms of uh, abandonments um, had a total of 271 games combined with, uh, while never leaving a single game while ahead. That's sort of suspicious, isn't it? If you had any doubts about whether this was being done on purpose, there you go. So as a point of comparison, let's take a look at a player with a notoriously bad internet connection who we're also reasonably sure is not trying to cheat the system, West Balls. Sorry, Wes. So uh, West Balls has played 163 matches total, uh, legitimately that have ended, uh, that finished to completion. And 11 of them have disconnected. But notably, um, it's an even split in Wes's uh, matches, whether he has left, um, a game is disconnected, whether he was ahead or behind or even. Obviously, if he were trying to cheat the system, he wouldn't intentionally leave games while ahead. So this is a good point of comparison. 
this is actually kind of funny. Um, one of the limits to doing this sort of cheating is that, uh, sure, you can quit out of a game before you lose and you seemingly don't get the loss. Um, you can't actually win a game that you would otherwise win. So uh, you very quickly get so out of your depth in terms of skill level of the players you're playing against, you wind up having to leave almost every single game. And that's what we see here from some of these players, that they wind up uh, getting so out of, like, in over their head in terms of skill that they can't win against any of the players and they like, can't progress any further. So you could actually only use this to cheat for so far until uh, you wind up getting to a certain level of players that you just can't win games against uh, anyway. I mean, just look at this player. This is uh, Battle Zinnia, I guess, with a total record of six and two of legitimate games played and 43 games abandoned. <laughs> this player very quickly got in way over their head and cannot seem to win a single game against higher level opponents, but keeps trying anyway, I guess. And rounding out our motley crew of people trying to abuse the system on day one is Bird, with a 20% of all of their total matches being abandoned yet still being stuck at gold, and DJ Shiny Silver with almost 30% of their games being abandoned, yet also stuck in gold. But for the final verdict, let's see what Slippy Mascot, Fizzy's dog Miso, has to say about it. Good dog. Some late breaking news. Uh, it turns out that uh, user uh, DJ Shiny Silver did try to take advantage of the system, but had shortly after messaged Fizzy privately that this seemed to be a problem. So they're cool and have been unbanned. So by the time you're watching this, Fizzy will have already adjusted the back end to uh, count these abandonments as a loss for the pe person who left. But you should be aware that it might take a little bit more time than a normal game for that loss to uh, be credited onto someone's account. So just kind of FYI, be patient there. There's a small group of us that help Fizzy out behind the scenes, but reality is it's almost all him, especially with ranked mode. This was more Fizzy than normal. So uh, if, you are, if you're able, donate to Fizzy. Later.